What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So just real quick, uh, there was a, a national outage for the internet provider that I had and cell phone, which is the first time I've ever seen that in my life, cell phone and internet. Um, they restored most services, so I'm going to try to do videos. I'm going to double up and try to get you guys like more videos because uh, I didn't come out with one on Saturday. Uh, so to my coaching students, you guys are fucking awesome um, for just being patient and understanding. Um, and to my audience, you guys are awesome too. <clears throat> Love you guys. All right, let's get to this video by Courtney Ryan. And it is called, Does She Like You or Does She Like the Attention? I'm covering this video because a lot of guys don't actually understand this. And most guys live a, a life of quiet desperation. And when you live a life like that, it's going to be harder for you to go out. Or it's not going to be harder for you, but they believe it's harder for them to go out and to experience life like a person that is not living that way would okay so these videos are for those people those people that don't you know they don't understand dating they don't understand women they don't understand what's going on so uh and i like covering courtney ryan's videos because first of all she's a woman and you're going to hear the same advice that I've been giving you and a lot of the other guys have been giving you coming from a woman. So sometimes it's hard for guys to understand. And, and some guys are going to be like, well, don't listen to, you know, a woman about advice. But like if it matches advice that you, that guys are telling you about, then maybe it's maybe it's sound. Right. But of course, just like anything, obviously watch and get second opinions, guys. Right? I see so many of you guys in the comments that are like ding, 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 getting all fucking mad and shit. There's no point in getting mad. Just move on to another video or move on. And you don't get, I know, you're not getting mad at me. You're talking shit about other people or arguing in the comments and shit. And I'm like, why? Like, um, so anyway, let's get started. It's my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan. And today we're going to be going over some obvious signs that she only wants attention from you and she maybe doesn't actually like you. So I get this question so much in my inbox on Instagram, through email, comments on YouTube. And one more thing, another good reason why I want to cover Courtney is because she is going to get messages from guys because I get messages from guys too, but it's about different things. She's going to get messages from guys about dating stuff, about women's um, a woman's perspective because when I was going through this shit I went to women as well long ago right I went to women as well and I was like okay why is she doing this and a lot of women will give you shitty advice they'll say they'll say tell her how you feel or you know what she's just acting like this just you know what just stay just just let her know you're there for her and blah 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 and a man will say bro what the fuck are you doing are you trying to be a friend what are you doing because this is not attractive behavior a man who knows his shit let's say okay so she's gonna get questions like this and she's gonna and and you know once you see that she gives good advice we're gonna go okay this is somebody that we can actually listen to i don't know if all of her videos are good i haven't watched them all clearly there's so many uh, but that's why because she's gonna get questions that i'm never gonna get because those guys are going to her so anyway let's go i mean legitimately everywhere i get this question of how do i tell if a girl is really into me how do i tell if a girl is using me how do i tell if she really likes me or she just wants attention from me these are some blatant signs to look out for if she's doing anything on this list i can almost 99 percent sure guarantee that she's just using you Number one, you don't see her. I think this is one of the most obvious ones. Maybe she texts you a lot. Maybe she communicates with you a lot via phone. Um, but when it comes to actually hanging out, she might flake last minute. She might cancel. If she's not hanging out with you, it's because she genuinely doesn't want to. If a girl wants to see you and get to know you, she will hang out with you and follow. Just from my perspective, guys, this is 100% true. There's been many girls that I've been interested in over the years and they want to just play. You know, uh, they they, they want to play with your emotions. They want to just get attention from you like there's been a couple of girls in my life that have been like that and i thought they were interested and just over time you don't you don't see them right they keep texting you they keep you know wanting to be around you um like so so it's not frequent right it's seldom that's the word i'm looking for they seldomly want to hang out with you uh they make excuses they flake just like she said i know i'm saying exactly what the fuck she just said but they don't care about actually seeing you. And then when you find a girl, so my current woman, 
when we first dated, she was open. She was like, yeah, let me know when you want to hang out. And basically we set dates and that was it. It's, it's easy to see them. It's easy to create a connection. That's what it is. Not hanging out with you, it's because she genuinely doesn't want to. If a girl wants to see you and get to know you, she will hang out with you and follow through. Mm -hmm. um, so if she's continuously canceling, flaking last minute, coming up with excuses, this is not a good sign. And a really big sign that she's just using you for attention. Maybe she's texting you, maybe you're her little pen pal texting buddy, as I've said so many times on this channel, and she doesn't actually genuinely like you or want to form a connection with you, and she's just using you as someone to talk to when she's bored. I just want to reiterate, if a girl genuinely likes you, she will want to hang out with you in person. And if you're in a situation of long distance where maybe hanging out in person isn't really in the equation right now. This includes talking on the phone and FaceTiming. Also, emphasis here on the flaky slash cancels last minute point. This is something I see all the time if she's just using you for attention because she'll keep you at an arm's length by texting you every now and then, giving you the little breadcrumbs. She can say she wants to hang out with you all she wants, but if she doesn't actually do it, it means she doesn't like you. Number two, it's very one-sided. Are you the one who's always reaching out? Are you the one who's always initiating conversations or hanging out with her? Is your time, effort, and energy not being reciprocated? If this is the case, she's probably using you, whether it be for whatever you're providing for her, or it might just be the attention. Anyone who is worth pursuing, emphasis there on worth pursuing, will reciprocate these things and it will not be one-sided. If you think it's one-sided, it probably is and you're better off just moving on with your life. Number three, she fishes for compliments. If she's bragging or fishing for compliments constantly and you're actively giving them to her, chances are she definitely likes this free attention and the fact that you're putting her up on a pedestal. Facts. So I see guys do this all the time. Guys that are in my coaching program, right? And they're coming out of a breakup, which is what most people come to me for. And they start dating again. This is a big mistake that they'll make. They'll start complimenting. They'll start uh, yeah, putting her up on a pedestal. They'll start making her feel you know, propped up, you know. And sometimes, guys, look, complimenting women is okay when there is that reciprocation there, okay? But you can't just be just pouring your fucking feelings out all the goddamn time. And this is why mission and pope, mission and pope is. Mission and purpose is so important. So, uh, Focusing on your mission and focusing on you and what you got to build and what you got to do every day. I show up to these videos every day when I can, right? Someday, one day a month, I probably won't. But I show up to my other business every single day, growing my blogs, growing my media company, right? My plan is to sell my media company for eight figures. Okay, that's my like goal up here. That's not going to happen tomorrow, but it's, it's, a, it's another brick, right? It's another fucking brick that I stack every day. And then once it's built, it's gone. And to me, it's worth it, right? Because I, who the fuck needs more than that much money, right? But that's the point. And I'm doing it every day. And most guys don't even have an idea of what they want to build yet. They're just standing there looking at looking at an empty plot of space. So when you have that going on in your life, you're going to make women your um, mission and purpose, okay? So it's important for you to... I think my screen, I think my camera's frozen. It's important for you to remain focused on your mission, okay? And you're gonna stop doing a lot of this behavior by default that way. Now, some guys don't. Some guys are very good with business and, and work and, and shit like that, and they can't, right? And this is where they need to learn the, the dating skills. But for some guys, you can fall in and, and learn pretty pretty well. And look, it's normal for all of us to like some sort of attention from the person that we're talking to. I think we all like a nice compliment every now and then, but if she's consistently fishing for it, if all she does is talk about herself with you or brag or try to get you to put her up on a pedestal again, like I mentioned, or talk so greatly about her, this is often a sign that she just likes the way that you're giving her an ego boost and she's liking the free attention that you're giving her. Right. I'm not saying that if you're dating a girl, you should not be giving her a compliment. There's a big difference between genuinely giving someone a compliment and them fishing for it. If she only talks to you when you're giving her the floor to brag about herself or you're complimenting her, this is not a good sign and a sign that she's probably just using you to boost her self-esteem. Number four, she gives you her Instagram handle. If she gives you her Instagram handle and not her phone number, she just wants a follower and someone to like her photos. I've had so many guys reach out to me and say, she didn't give me her phone number, but she gave me her Instagram, but she doesn't message me. Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't want to talk to you and she just wants a follower out of you. So what It's, it's kind of like an extra, it's like an extra fucking um, wall, okay? Now I've seen relationships, you know, kind of work out fine when the like it's it's Instagram or or uh, Facebook or whatever like that. Sometimes women will put an extra uh, roadblock in the way. Okay, so when that happens, right? Um, it's just you have to be extra diligent and and understanding what she's trying to do. So that's why setting a proper date immediately is important because sometimes women get burned by guys. Okay, that's true. 
So when women get burned by guys, they're going to put that extra robe, especially when they're not ready, right? Sorry about the camera, guys. I just took it off so you guys have to watch it just still. So so when they're not ready, they're they're going to do that. And uh, most of the time, women aren't ready anyway. They don't really take that time to... They'll just move right on to the next guy a lot of the times. And guys usually have to heal because guys fall in love differently. Okay, this is in Rational Mail, but I've experienced it. Like, I started dating somebody that I wasn't ready to date, and it just went awful. <laughs> it just went awful. My emotions were all over the fucking place. So... Just understand that it can work, but you have to start setting dates immediately. Like, like, like the first point is she doesn't see you. Okay. Is that happening enough for me? I would set a date once. And if she flakes on that date, um, I would give one more chance. Just, that's just my personal, you guys don't have to, I would give one more chance to see. And, and I would see, is she trying to set it up? Is she trying to reciprocate or is she trying to reschedule? If she just says, nah, sorry, I'm busy right? And doesn't give a fuck about you and what your plans are and what you're doing because the ultimate respect is respect of your time and energy. Okay. So I would see if she's trying to do that. And, and, and I've had that in the past and it worked where she's like, you know, I want to reschedule. I had, I did have something come up. I want to reschedule. I really do want to see you. And I'm like, cool. Cause look guys, fucking shit happens. You can't be so rigid and stiff about dating. Okay. Shit happens. Um, you just have to be aware and diligent of what's going on. Okay, guys, that's it. You guys don't have to be all fucking stiff and rigid like most guys. So many guys are so fucking rigid and amped up and worried that they can't they can't loosen up and chill. Okay, so don't be that guy. What I want you to do if this has happened to you is go to her profile and hit the unfollow button. Please and thank you. Number five, one of the most obvious of them all is that she asks you for gifts or you're buying her stuff and paying her bills. Obviously, she is liking the fact that you're buying things for her or funding her life, so she doesn't wanna cut that off. If she only talks to you or hangs out with you when you're buying her something, abort mission. It's a clear sign that this is not going anywhere good unless you have willingly signed up to be a sugar daddy, which again, I would not recommend. But if you really like this girl, you would like to see something serious developing with her and she's only hanging around you when you're doing something for her or buying something for her, this is not really the type of girl you wanna be going after. And last on my list is that there's there's no emotional connection. If everything feels really surface level and materialistic and she's not really trying to get to know you at all or even more so on a deeper level, this is a sign that she's probably, again, just using you as someone to talk to when she's bored or because you're giving her free attention. If a girl is really into you, she's going to want to get to know you. She's going to ask you questions about yourself. She's going to try to get to know you on a deeper level at some point. Um, and often if things are very surface level and materialistic for some time, this is a sign that, again, she doesn't want to get to know you or like you and she genuinely is just using you. This could be a rebound relationship type of situation where she just got out of a relationship and she's just now using you for attention to get over that last person, which is not a good thing to find yourself in. A need for money, a need for intimacy, a need for attention in general. I mean, there are so many reasons um, why someone could be using you. I think one of the main ones is just attention. To be honest, I think that's why a lot of girls out there are on dating apps because they're getting so much attention from men. Right. I've actually reacted to a video where these girls were at this table podcast talking about how they're not on dating apps to actually find anyone and they're just on dating apps to get the ego boost and free validation and attention from men. So of course, I don't want to make it seem like all girls are like this because they absolutely aren't. Um, but there are girls out there who are just using you for attention, what you can buy for them. If you can buy them fancy dinners or a nice bag or genuinely just give them attention to give them an ego boost and to feel better about themselves. And I would really hate for you to find yourself in a situation like this where you aren't being genuinely appreciated or your time and effort and energy is not being reciprocated because you're simply talking to a girl who only wants attention from you. So be able to see these signs. I think if you know these signs, it makes it a lot easier to see them very clearly when you find yourself maybe in a situation like this. So I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Like it. Okay. So in summary, guys, in summary, I know you can't see me, so I'm just going to put, put a picture, a still of her up. So uh, I'm going to fix my camera for the next video. So basically, um, and guys, <laughs> guys, things ha like... I know that guys come to me all the time and they get super frustrated about life. Look at my fucking channel. I had audio issues. Uh, you know, things happen in business. You just got to roll, man. You just got to keep rolling. Like there's no reason to get fucking super. Fr so guys get super frustrated about, about like dating and shit. Just relax. This is like, okay. Corey Wayne came out with the, the book, um, quotes, ruminations and contemplations volumes one and two, right? And it's a great way for you to get the information and just keep pounding it into your head, okay? Pick those two books up. I'm gonna get affiliate links and put them in the description box, okay? But guys, just, just make your life fun 
and inviting and cool for other people to join and be involved in. This means that you do not need a woman in your life. Okay. This, this goes for chicks too. Like guys are looking for different things and men are looking for a certain thing, certain things for, uh, for guys are looking for certain things from women and women are looking for certain things from men. Men just want to be around cool chicks. <laughs> Okay. Nice women who are, aren't fucking mad and they're kind and they're smiling and shit. And if you're not there in your life, okay. If you got trauma, you got shit, you got to work through. Cool. Do it guys. Same thing. But women want to be invited into a, a place of security, prosperity, um, resources, strength, but they're, they also want you to protect them, right? They want you to be cool too. So are you cool? Are you cool to be around? Are you fun to be around? These are things that you have to ask yourself. And the summary of the video is, does she reciprocate the energy that you're giving to her? It has to start from somewhere. So don't be afraid to be the first person to do it. This is why men have to set the dates, but set a date immediately. Why wait, right? Don't fuck around because you're scared. Just do it. And if she reciprocates, yeah, I want to see you tomorrow. Cool. To go tomorrow. A lot of guys get caught up on, oh, should I wait five days? No, just fucking see you tomorrow. See if she's like your first couple of dates are information. Do I like this person? You're vetting her. Do I like this person? Does she, do, do, is she kind to people around her? Like when we went on the date, what was she like? Was she funny? Was she worked up? Was she uptight? Like these are things you're asking yourself. Do I like this person? And so many guys are like, oh my God, this woman showed me attention. I'm just going to give her all of mine. Like, bruh. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and thank you for being patient to my coaching students. I love you guys. Okay, like and subscribe and all that shit. Done.